Big East play starting, um, the performance against Georgetown, and then we'll talk about Providence in a bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously excited to get back on the road. Um, I felt gutted for our guys after last weekend. I thought they put together a very good performance against a very good Georgetown team. Um, I thought we were in the driver's seat for 80% of that match. And unfortunately, um, we weren't able to get the three points. But a lot of, a lot of positives from that match. Uh, just need to be a little grittier, uh, a little bit more excited to attack the end line, to attack our opponent's box, and ultimately to finish some chances. Are you, uh, coming up, you have Providence. You mentioned going on the road. You guys seem to play your best match at Grand Canyon. Is there anything specific about being away from home that helps this team increase that focus? You know, I, you know, obviously, when you're at home, there's always the pressure to be able to perform in front of your fans, right? So um, I think there's something to be said about being on the road uh, with the chips against you, uh, where you're relying on one another to go out and, and, and try and get a victory on the day. Having said that, uh, Grand Canyon is, is a very difficult place to play at, but so is Providence. So we understand that it's a tall, tall um, challenge, but um, I have all the confidence in the world that our group is up uh, for that challenge at Providence. We touched on how strong the Big East was last week, but Providence is a top 10 RPI team, and throughout the league, everybody is sub 100, save two teams and virtually everybody has improved their RPI ranking from where they were last year. Can you speak a little bit about how strong this Big East conference is? Yeah, you know, I've always said that the Big East is, is, is not only one of the strongest conferences in the country, but it's also one of the most difficult uh, conferences in the country in that every team is different. Every team offers a different challenge, um, in my opinion. Uh, but it's great to see the Big East doing so well, um, and so, all we can do now is make sure that we can get results in the Big East because ultimately that's going to help our RPI, which I think is sitting at 77 at the moment. I apologize if my uh, lack of punctuality makes you repeat yourself. Um, when you go back to the Georgetown match, obviously I know the result was disappointing. How did you feel about the performance itself, the chances you created, and the opportunities you got? No, I, you know, I, I thought it was a very good performance on the day, um, minus the, the result. Yeah. Um, you know, the fact that Georgetown, who we always see as a football playing team, um, I don't know if that was just their game plan to not play as much as they typically do or if that was um, us having them uh, to convert a little bit because of our press. Uh, but nonetheless, I thought it was, a, it was a good performance. And, you know, that's the challenge of our sport. You know, you can come out and, and, and be the aggressor. You can come out and... And, and dominate spots in, in a match um, and maybe even have the better chances but still come out empty-handed. Empty and so for that reason, I felt gutted for the guys. Uh, but I, they also understand that, you know, it's on us to be able to be aggressive, to be able to be energetic uh, in the final third, and to be able to execute and ultimately come out with goals. I'm sorry for asking this after a loss because it kind of puts you in the position of sounding like sour grapes. but. Format-wise, like, do you think that – would you like to see overtimes come back or stoppage time maybe implemented to just allow for a closer to 90-minute match to, I guess, limit some of these good performances slash poor results situations? You know – For the sport itself. You know, hindsight is always 20-20, right? And I was definitely one of the coaches that was in support of doing away with overtime. And at the time, um, I thought it was – the right decision in that it would preserve our guys' safety. Mm -hmm. I was always worried about people overextending themselves and thus um, succumbing to an injury that might happen because they're overextended, right? Mm -hmm. um, never in my wildest dreams did I think there would be that many ties. I think the first year, I think that there was a switch. I think we had seven, seven or eight ties, which is crazy, right? And so. Um, listen, at the end of the day, uh, I understand it's a, it's a collegiate sport, uh, but I think it's great when we're, when we're able to align ourselves with Major League Soccer um, or with the rest of the world. And so, you know, I, I think the closer we can get to that, the better off we'll be. Thank you, John. All right. Thank you, Thanks, sir. guys.